Hello! So this is the third part of the uh, video series on uh, fields and hedges that I'm putting together. Um, so it's been about uh, two, three days maybe, um, after I stuck the uh, flock to the uh, rubberized uh, coconut fibre. And so this is the result. So um, I think they look pretty good actually. So I've just got them surrounding this uh, small field at the minute. So I've made uh, a few of these now, and they're different sort of lengths, so that they can be standalone uh, hedges, or they can be you know put together to go around a field. Um, so they're mounted to a little piece of uh, plastic card to give them a little bit of strength, and uh, I think they've come out quite well. So I had to trim them off a bit uh, at the bottom just to sort of shorten them up. Um, I don't know whether you saw the, the last video, but um, when you cover the sort of material, the rubberized um, cork fibre, uh, sorry, coconut fibre in uh, in PVA, it tends to expand somewhat, which uh, is not something I expected to happen. Um, so I needed to trim them uh, down a little bit. So I took about half an inch off uh, the bottom of them, uh, just to, to make them a little bit shorter, so that, uh, you know, they're not too big, uh, that they dwarf you know, the, the 28 mil figures. So, I'm gonna go ahead now and finish the rest of these off, <clears throat> these hedges. I've got about another 17 to, uh, to make. Um, and if they take about uh, two or three days to dry, which these ones did, um, that should be <laughs> probably about Sunday <laughs> before uh, they're glued together. But yeah, so they, they, they've turned out really well, I think. I'm very, very happy with those. They look quite realistic, I think. And better better than some of the uh, ones I've seen on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, um, better than some of the ones I've seen on eBay, uh, where the guys are selling them, that's for sure. Um, yeah, bit of time investment there, and um, yeah, they're pretty cool, like them. They're not that springy anymore because of the PVA, of course. So, um, over the back here I've been working on a few figures, um, I've got a game of bolt action coming up on Saturday, so that's uh, four days away from, uh, from the day I'm filming, filming this, so I've still got to paint the bases and uh, give them a little bit of a wash and then um, finally a varnish. So hopefully I will get them done um, by, the, by Saturday so they can actually take part in the battle. I've got a little uh, RAF guy here as a spotter, and I gave him his rank stripe round his sleeve. I thought, uh, ooh, come on, focus. There we are. Give him his rank stripe. I thought that was quite cool. So yeah, a bit more painting. Ooh, a bit more painting for me to do, and varnishing, and some hedge making, and uh, we should be ready for uh, a battle. I don't need the hedges for the battle, um, but we should be ready for, for Saturday with those additional figures, I think. Anyway, I've rambled on enough now. Um, I'll come back and show you the all the finished hedges, uh, probably on the, uh, on the battle map uh, when that arrives. Anyway, bye for now.